What's up, YouTube? Random Tuesday thoughts. So I've done these for a little while. It's been a, been some time. Mondays and stuff have been crazy. The kids have had soccer and stuff, but that's almost over. It's just been both kids decided to play soccer this season, and uh, that means that there's lots of practice. And then Damien was playing baseball as well, but that's finally over, thankfully. But we've not been doing random Tuesday thoughts, and that that's a crime. I shouldn't. Uh, I, I should be keeping up with random Tuesday thoughts. Anyway, moving on. Let's talk about it. It is October. Spooky. It's a spooky, spooky time of year. However, October is also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And as you guys are aware and have been made aware sometimes, um, those of us at Zipline Strings on that team, the Zipline Strings team, uh, all donate our proceeds for the month of October from all of our string sales. So Hulkenstein, Tainted Love, both of Dylan's colors, Bazooka Blue and the other one. The, and uh, Tokyo Yo, all of his color, the proceeds from all of his. Uh, basically, the whole team, the whole team. We donate the proceeds from all Nate. Now that Nate's on the team, Paul, Kieran, I think. Uh, we all donate our proceeds from our zipline string sales to Breast Cancer Awareness. Last year, we raised like 300 bucks. I want to say it was a really good year last year. We need to do that again this year. We are. Currently, in the midst of October, so you need to go buy some zipline strings. There's also pink ones, uh, specifically for breast cancer awareness. This month, here's some pink ones. Here's a pink string. Pink string looks good. See how good it looks? See how good it looks? Anyway, pink string, very good. Very Shows up very well, as you can see in this video. It's very uh, vibrant. Um, and you can get some, help some people, and uh, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Throw pink. Hashtag throw pink. Hashtag throw pink. And help with that. Um, other things going on. You guys saw my review of the Dove last week. Man, still throwing this thing. Still really digging it. Uh, digging it a lot. I've been trading a lot of yayos lately for video game stuff. And you've seen some video games, uh, video game things on the channel lately. And uh, it's just fun, really, for me. I like to change it up a little bit every now and then. Um... Also, as far as my channel's going to go, you're going to see probably about three videos a week from me move from here on, moving forward until I decide I have more time to make more than three, but I'm going to shoot for three every week. Now, uh, I was doing one a day for like two years, um, but we're going to shoot for just three now. Also, we have completed three years of Throws and Brews. Can you guys believe that? Three years of Throws and Brews. Woo! Pink string is supposed to be confetti. Three years. So thank you to everybody who has been around, who has been watching, who has been commenting, who's been liking, who's been subscribing. Um, it's really fun. And over the last three years, I've got the chance to meet a ton of you. And we've played yo-yo together. And we've made I've made lots of friends. This really has been the coolest thing uh, in like the last three years that it hasn't been like, you know, watching my kids grow up. This has really been the coolest thing ever. Uh, because I've got to make a ton of friends. I've got to, you know, try out and review hundreds of yo-yos. And I've got to go so many fun places and meet so many cool people. And just make friends with you guys. And uh, I just want to thank you guys for three years of fun for me. This has really been a blast. And uh, I wouldn't have been able to do it without you guys. So thank you guys for all of your support. And everything that you've given me over the last three years. And uh, still going. We're still going strong. Um, not going to be as many videos as before. But I feel like I was kind of oversaturating you guys anyway. I feel like three a week is probably a solid amount of my face to see. So we're going to shoot from that from now on. Uh, other random things. You're going to see other random things in videos. Like you've seen me do some guitar stuff. I have a couple more guitars that I want to talk about um, that are available, that not are available that I'm selling them, but guitars that I have and guitar stuff that I think is useful. I know a lot of you guys play guitar, at least casually, um, and I've played guitar for a long time, so I'm going to try to do a little bit of that. Not too terribly much. It's still going to be primarily yo-yos. I'd say like 90, 95% yo-yo stuff, 
but occasionally, like, you know, pull out a guitar and show you that stuff and talk about it. A um, little bit of video game stuff, too. Uh, now that my kids are a little bit older and not as needy, I can kind of... I've always kind of been a gamer. I've enjoyed it for a long time. Um, not so much going to be doing the, like, hardcore long-term stuff. Like, I played World of Warcraft for a long time. Not so much going to get be getting back into that, but I do want to catch up on all of the sort of old stuff that I've missed, particularly PlayStation uh, exclusives. I'm a big PlayStation fan, if you don't know that already. Big PlayStation guy, so uh, I've got a lot of PlayStation exclusives to catch up on. I just uh, finished the first Uncharted, and I've got the whole like collection on one through four. I know there's other ones for like Vita, and I think there's some for other ones for um, PS4 that's like not necessarily Nathan Drake. It's got other characters, but enjoyed the first Uncharted. I'm gonna finish up God of War next, and then probably Uncharted two. And then I've also got Darksiders 3, and i got to do The Last of Us. I have that remastered. I'm, I just downloaded it. It was free on PS Plus, which is amazing. Um, lots of cool stuff to do. Still playing Mortal Kombat. Still playing Injustice. Uh, still playing Gran Turismo. Love Gran Turismo. Good Lord. I've, just been, I've been playing Gran Turismo 5 some, too, because i got a PlayStation 3. And sometimes I get kicked out of the back room, so I play it in the front room. Anyway, uh, Gran Turismo is great. So, anyways, if you guys are playing... PlayStation, you can add me on PlayStation. I am Velt, V E L T 017, on PlayStation. Feel free to add me and uh, kick your ass in Mortal Kombat. So, there you go. If you have Mortal Kombat, I haven't played anybody in Mortal Kombat, I feel like, other than, you know, random jabronis on the internet who, uh, you know, I'm pretty good at Mortal Kombat if I keep up with it and I, you know, don't put it away for a month. I'm pretty decent. I could get some. I get some good wins in. Anyway, uh, what else is going on? Sort of slowing down this time of year. There's about to be a little bump of Christmas type stuff. Uh, you'll see that. I'll be talking about that type of stuff. There's gonna be a lot of those types of things and reviews, and I'll do some lists for like the best Christmas present yo-yos and things like that, and accessories and what have you. So that stuff's all coming up. It's a little too early for that though. Halloween is coming up. Um, again, I'm going to suggest if you can swing it or if there's, say you only get five to six kids for Halloween. Um, I'm going to try to give out yo-yos this year. If I can give them out, we may all have to walk around with the kids. So I may just give out, put a big bucket of full-size candy bars out there and call it a day. But I have given out yo-yos in the past and uh, that's also a great I feel like that's a great Halloween thing, too, because they're going to get a bit huge sack of candy, but if there's, like, a one yo-yo in there, maybe, like, a Dunkin' or something, those are, like, three bucks each. I don't know what's at the dollar stores right now. At the point in time that I gave out yo-yos, it was some pretty cool, like, um, uh, the Blazing Teams ones were there, but I don't think those are in dollar stores right now. But I would suggest giving out yo-yos. I know there's some $5 Dunkin' ones and there's some $3 Dunkin' ones uh, that I feel like would be great. So if you're not getting a ton of trick-or-treaters, we only ever get 5 to 10. Uh, you know, <laughs> if you can get enough canned, enough yo-yos to give out to a few trick-or-treaters that would uh, want them, it's always my suggestion is to do yo-yos for trick-or-treaters if you're doing that. And if you don't get too many kids. You know, if you get 300 kids, you're probably not going to want to give out 300 yo-yos. But maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway. Um, I think that's it for me, though, guys. Uh, this has been Random Tuesday Thoughts. We are randomly back. I'm going to try, try, try to get these done and get them out on Tuesdays for Yin's guys. Because I like these. I feel like they're very personal. We, we get a connection. I like to be connected. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Cheers to you. I'll see you next time.